Now we are on Novdek 2018. I'm solving everything in that question paper for you. Now the first question says that solve a 1 over 2 into 4x minus 6 minus 1 out of 3, 5 minus 4x greater or equal to 8. Now we have that's 1 out of 2, 4x minus 6, minus 1 out of 3, 5 minus 4x, greater or equal to 8. Now from here, what is the LCM? LCM is 6, so let's multiply to get LCM, which is 6. So you have 6 times 1 out of 2, 4x minus 6. 6 times 1 out of 3, 5 minus 4x. Take your time, multiply it through. Greater or equal to 6 times 8. No pain, no gain. Mathematics is not a spectator of sport. You have to be active. Don't forget the height, rich and kept by great men were not attained by sudden fire by day. While their companions slept, were toiling upwards in the night. It means that if you see anybody doing something so well, the person didn't just sleep around and then just got there. But then while the others were sleeping, this particular person was working out. And that is why that person is perfect in it. So here, let's say 2, we're going to solve 1, 2, we're going to 6, 3 times, uh, 3, we're going to solve 1, 3, we'll go into 6, how many times? Two times. So what do you have? Three times everything here. The rush three. Four x minus six. Don't rush. Minus two. And what do you have here? Five minus four x greater or equal to six times eight. Don't rush. Now let's expand using the distributive property. Now three times four x. That's twelve x. 3 times 6, and what do you have? We have 18. 18. Negative 2 times 5, that's negative 10. Negative times negative, positive. 2 times 4, we have a 8x. Greater or equal to. Now, 6 times 8. You are allowed to use the calculator 6 times 8, and this is 48. 48. Now, from here, what do you do? We group like terms. So the next thing is for us to do what? Group like terms. So we have 12x plus 8x. We have a greater equal to 12x, 8x. That's what we have here. We have 48. Now negative 18 crossing becoming positive um, 18. Now negative 10 crossing becoming positive 10. This negative 18 crossing becoming positive negative 10 crossing becoming uh, positive. Now, 12x plus 8x, and clearly this is 20x greater or equal to now 48 plus 18 plus 10, and clearly this is giving us that is 76. You are allowed to use the calculator, make use of the calculator. Want to find x, we divide both sides by what is multiplying the x, which is 20. So you have 20 out of 20x out of 20 greater or equal to 76 out of 20. Now this is cancelling out that over here. Now clearly um, 4 will go into 7. How many times? 1 remainder um, 3, 36, 4 will go into 36, that's 9, 4 will go into 20, that's 5 times. So x, to, x is greater or equal to uh, 19 out of 5. 19 out of 5. And clearly from here, x is greater or equal to, now 5 will go into 19. How many times? Uh, that is 3 times. So 3 whole number, uh, 4 out of 5. Now 5 times 3, that's 15. 15 plus 4, giving us 19 out of um, 5. Wow, that's it. For a complete lesson, on linear inequalities. Please get my pen drive. All my lessons are on pen drive as well. Get my pen drive. It is also available 
on my website. Have you seen the website? Yes, www.stevecons.com. I'm solving all past questions for you. So all detailed, detailed lessons, everything in the syllabus is also available on the website. It is also available on pen drive as well, including all past questions. I'm solving all past questions. Go on my um, website www.stevecons.com. Go there, you see all the lessons in the was a syllabus I've solved. I have explained everything, I've taught everything. It is available over there, it is also available on a pen drive. As well, I'm adding all past questions to it. It is very, very amazing. If you get it, you'd easily get A1 in your WASI exams or your NOVDE exams. Everything you get, A1, you enjoy mathematics. So I'm solving everything. Now let's consider the B question as well. Okay, let's consider the B part. Pause the video and try the question on your own. Uh, solve the simultaneous equation. So we have the first one, we have 3 out of x minus 4 out of y equal to 1 out of 3. We also have um, 2 out of x minus 5 out of y equal to 1. Now from here we can see that let let a or any other variable be 1 out of x and then b should be 1 out of y. One out of y. So a should be 1 over x, b is 1 over y. You see here we can write, we write this as 3 times 1 over x. We can also write this as 4 times 1 over y. So you see, let's see something. We have 3 times 1 over x. The first one we are writing as this. Minus 4 times 1 out of y. 4 times 1 out of y. That's this. Equal to 1 out of 3. Every whole number is 1. So this is our one. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. And then this one, 4 times 1. one. And then this is one, 1 times y. That's y. So here we are saying that let a to be equal to 1 over x, b to be equal to 1 over y. So in place of the 1 over x here, you get a. In place of the 1 over y here, this 1 over y, in place of this 1 over y, we are saying it should be b. So minus 4b equal to 1 out of 3. From here, what's the LCM? LCM is 3. So multiplying through by 3. 3 times 3a, 3, 3 times 4b, 3 times 1 out of 3. This is cancelling that. 3 times 3, we have 9a. 3 times 4, 12b. And this is equal to 1. This is equal to 1. So this is equation 1. Now let's see the second equation. Uh, we have 2 out of x. Or we can rewrite the second one as 2 times 2 times 1 out of x. 1 out of x minus 5 times 1 out of y equal to 1. Mm -hmm. 1 out of x. See, 2 times 1 out of x, 5 times 1 out of y, equal to 1. Now, what is 1 out of x? We are saying that let a should be equal to 1 out of x. So here you have 2a minus 1 out of y is b. So that will be 5b equal to 1. And this is equation 2. All this are available on my website. That is the solution of Everything from question one all the way to the last question. Everything is available on my website www.stevecons.com. It is also available on my pen drive as well. So here, uh, so this uh, equation one, this uh, equation one, this uh, equation two. Let's use substitution method for us to solve our A and B. Now clearly from A and equation one and equation two, which one should we make one the subject? Let's make A the subject from equation two. So from equation two, from equation two, we want to make A the subject. What do you have? Two A equal to one plus five B. Now for a detailed lesson on simultaneous equation, kindly get my pen drive or or sign up 
on my website, either my pen drive or my website. Everything is over there. I've done a detailed work, a very detailed, very detailed lesson on simultaneous equation. Call the numbers you are seeing on the screen for one. So clearly, we want to make either subject. So we divide both sides by two. So this is cancelling that a is one plus five b out of two. And let's say we call this equation three. So we substitute or we put three into, we substitute three, three into one, into one. Now, why are we putting three into one, not two? Because we had the three from two. You don't put it back in two, but then you put it back in one. As I said, detailed lesson on simultaneous equation. Can you get my pen drive also? Or sign up on my website, www.stevecons.com. So we put three into one. So wherever we see A in equation um, one, we put one plus five B over two. So from here, what do you have? One plus nine A minus 12 B equals one. But in place of the A, in place of the A, we have one plus five B over two minus 12 B equal to one. What's the LCM? LCM is 2. So we have 2 times 9, 1 plus 5B over 2, minus 2 times 12B, 1 times 2. Now let's see, this 2 is cancelling out that. So what do you have? We have 9, 1 plus 5B, minus, now let's see. 2 times 12, that's 24b equal 2 times 1, that's 2. Now let's expand. Using the distributive property, 9 times 1, 9. 9 times 5b, that's 45b minus 24b equal to 2. 2. Let's group like them. So we have 45b minus 24b equal to 2 minus 9. This crossing there, that's uh, nine. Now, 45 uh, b minus 24 b. That's 21 b equal to negative seven. We want to find b with variable side by 21. So 21 b out of 21, negative seven out of 21. Now this is cancelling that. Now same with so one. So we're going to 21 three times. B is equal to negative one out of three. We want to find a. So we know our value of B, we want to find A, uh, we put, put B equal to negative 1 over 3 into the third equation that we had. Now what was the third equation? A was 1 plus 5B all over 2. So in place of B, I'll put negative 1 over 3 all out of 2. And when you work out this on the calculator, you get negative 1 over 3. Point this on the calculator. If you don't know how to do it, let your friends help you. So our A is negative 1 over 3. B is also negative 1 over 3. Now, the question says we should find X and Y, not E and B. But, but we know A to be equal to 1 out of X. That is our A. Our A is 1 out of X. So when... A is negative 1 over 3. Look at what you are going to get. Negative 1 over 3 equal to 1 out of x. 1 out of x. Let's cross multiply. So we have negative x equal to 3. When you cross multiply, we want to get x divided both sides by negative 1. So that's negative 3. And then also we look b to be equal to 1 over what is b? Negative 1 over 3. 1 out of y. We want to find y. So here we get negative y. Got positive 3. Y to be equal to negative 3. So clearly, x is negative 3. Y is negative 3. Detailed lesson on simultaneous equation. Kindly sign up on my website. Call for my um, pen drive as well. Amazing. Everything is on it. And as I said, I am solving everything. And it will be available on my website. Everything from question one 
to all the way to the last question Novdek 2018 in fact i'm solving all past questions adding it to the whole lesson i have on the wasi syllabus as well Now let's consider question number two, Novdek 2018. I'm solving everything for you. Now the A part says that a woman spent one out of six of her monthly salary on foodstuffs, one third on um, drugs, one fourth on utility bills, and had, uh, that is 285 cities left. Calculate her monthly salary now let's look that you see total fraction always total fraction total fraction of um the woman's salary is one total fraction add up to one so total fraction is one one now fraction spent fraction spent or total fraction spent now the first one is one out of six the next one is one out of three the next one is one out of four now what is the lcm clearly lcm is 12 lcm is 12 since we're going to 12 two times two times one that's two today we'll go into 12 four times four times one 4. 4 will go into 12. 3 times 3 times 1. 3. 2 plus 4, 6 plus 3, 9. So we have 9 out of 12. Can we cancel out? Yes. 3 will go into 9. 3 times 3 will go into 12. 4 times. So the answer is 3 out of 4. So this fraction spent is 3 out of 4. 3 out of 4. So that will be the fraction spent. Total fraction is 1. Fraction spent is three out of four. Now we have been given that after all this, the amount left is two hundred and eighty-five. So this amount left will correspond to the fraction left. So let's find the fraction left as well. So fraction left or remaining fraction, either remaining fraction or fraction left. Fraction left. Total fraction is one. We've spent three out of four. What's the LCM here? LCM is four. Uh, this will be this will over one will go into four, four times four times one four minus three four minus three so we have one out of four one out of four so fraction left is one out of four now total fraction now we are being given that after all this uh, she had that is 285 see this left this amount left 285. Now what's the fraction left? 1 out of 4. So the fraction left will correspond to amount left. So amount left or fraction left fraction left will correspond to amount left. Now what's the fraction left? 1 out of 4. And this is mapping to or corresponding to the amount left, which is 285. Now, the question says that we should calculate her monthly salary. So, suppose that her monthly salary is X, and that one is corresponding to 1. So, 1 is corresponding to the monthly salary. We have 1 out of 4, 1. 1 is more if more is divided. If more. Let's divide. So clearly x will be equal to 1 divided by the less is divided, which is 1 out of 4, times 285. So clearly division will change to multiple 1. And you have to reciprocate the second term. So you have 4 out of 1 times 285. And when you punch this on a calculator, we are getting thus. 1140 and because it's currency it should be point zero zero so her monthly the question says that calculate her monthly salary so the woman's 
So the woman monthly salary, the woman monthly salary is one thousand one hundred and forty cities. Now let's consider question number two B. Novdek 2018. I'm solving everything. That is question number one, all the way to the last question. Everything is available on my website, www.stevecons.com. Everything is over there. Now, let's see. Um, this is the question in the diagram. WY is power to PR. WY is power to PR. My reflex XO carries 200 and 80 degrees, 280 degrees at an angle OQR is V. OQR is V. That's what we have here. We want to find the value of V. We want to find the value of V over here. So that's what I'm pleading with you. Please redraw. So that's what I've redrawn over here. Now the angle here is 50 degrees. So that's what we have. 50 degrees. Now, always, if you have a question like this, Draw a line passing through O, which is parallel to W, Y, and P, R. So let's see, there's the line, which is short dashes, and this is parallel to W, Y, and P, R. Now, let me call it, let's see, T, K. Let's see, T, K. And this is our angle here, V, our angle here, V. Uh, angle here is V. Now, so TK is parallel to WY and also parallel to PR. Now, clearly, XO becomes a transversal. So if the angle here is 50, the angle here is also 50 as well. Why alternate angles? The angle here alternates to the angle over here. And then also, we also know that the whole angle here, we're given in the question to be 200 and 80 degrees. Now we can work for the angle over here. How can you work? Sum of angles at a point is equal to what? 1, that is 360. Sum of angles at a point is equal to 360. But then first I would I want to write that is angle W, X, O. This is equal to, that is the angle here is equal to the angle here is equal to angle X. Okay, and this is equal to 50 degrees. The angle here is equal to the angle here. What is the reason? That's alternate angles, alternate angles, alternate angles. Now, some of angles at the point add up to what? Uh, 360. So, we have 50 degrees plus 280 degrees plus, what is the angle here? You can see K O Q plus angle K O Q is equal to 360 degrees. Sum of angles at the point is equal to 360. Now 50 plus 280, and this is giving us 330 degrees plus angle K O Q equal to 360 degrees. So this has to move to this side. Uh, so we have angle K O Q to be equal to 360 minus 330 and clearly this is 30 degrees. So the angle over here is 30 degrees. That's 30 degrees. Now, TK is parallel to PR. TK is parallel to PR and OQ is a transversal. Clearly we have cool interior angles. 30 degrees plus V is equal to 180 degrees. So we can say that V plus 30 degrees equal to 180. What is the reason? That's cool interior angles. Cool interior angles. So clearly our V, we want to make V the subject, is equal to 180 degrees minus 30 degrees. What is 180 minus 30? Clearly, our V is 150 degrees. Wow, that is amazing. If you follow my lessons, you take a pen, take a paper, you take a jotter, you put everything down, you solve questions on your own, you wouldn't have any problem at all. You go to the examination hall with full confidence. I have solved 
everything from question one all the way to the last but it is available on my website i'm solving everything or past questions that is all the way from 1993 all the way to um, the current passy paper which is written everything is available on my website together with all the lessons in the WASI syllabus, everything, commas, elective, maths, we have economics, we have English language, we have physics, we have chemistry, everything is available.